rejoice again, I said, rejoice, the Lord is near and coming soon. You gentleness be shown to all, rejoice again, I said, rejoice, 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 shall come to thee, O Israel. O Lord, you have favored your land and brought back the captives of Jacob. You forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins. Rejoice again, I say, rejoice. The Lord is near and coming soon. Your gentleness be shown to all. Rejoice again, I say, rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My friends, prepare our hearts to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Let us pray. O God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's Nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with the robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice. 
like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. My soul rejoices in my 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 God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul rejoices in my God. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul rejoices in my God. He is Fill the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. My soul rejoices in my God, my soul rejoices in my God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice always, pray without ceasing. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophetic utterances. Test everything. Retain what is good. Refrain from every kind of evil. May the God of peace make you perfectly holy and make you entirely, spirit, soul, and body, be prepared blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will also accomplish it. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. 
The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. Alleluia, alleluia. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? so we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert, make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In our entrance antiphon today, we sang, Rejoice in the Lord always, I say it again, rejoice. In our opening prayer, we prayed, Enable us to attain the joys of so great a salvation, and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. In our first reading from Isaiah, we heard, I rejoice heartily in the Lord, in my God is the joy of my soul. In our responsorial psalm, we sang, My soul rejoices in my God. In our second reading from 1 Thessalonians 5, we heard, Rejoice always. So it should be no surprise to us that the theme of this third week of Advent is Rejoice! Today is Gaudete Sunday. Gaudete is Latin for rejoice. Today is Rejoice Sunday. Gaudete in Domino Semper Iterum Dico Gaudete. Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again, rejoice. On this Gaudete Sunday, the priest wears rose-colored vestments. Rose is the liturgical name for the color that most of us know as pink. And we wear rose because it's supposed to symbolize a combination of Advent's purple with Christmas's white. Combine purple and white, you get something close to rose. In like manner, today we combine the watchful waiting of Advent joy with the joy of Christmas. And so we rejoice. That word, rejoice, is an interesting one. Because you see, we're used to thinking of things bringing us joy. My children bring me joy. Time spent with friends brings me joy. A good cigar or a good glass of wine brings me joy. But notice that these are all passive experiences. I see my children and joy is brought to me. 
They bring me joy. I hang out with friends and I experience joy. A good cigar or a glass of wine brings me joy. I'm passive. I'm experiencing it. But to rejoice is more active. To rejoice is to actively joy. To rejoice makes joy not just the thing I experience, but the action I do. When I rejoice, I am joying. This, is, this more active verb of rejoice, joying, is helpful when we realize that while there are so many things in this world that bring us joy, our children, good food, good drink, there also are things in this world, many things in this world, that seek to rob us of our joy. We live in a fallen world a world marked by death and loss and sorrow. Biblical joy, Christian joy, is an attitude that we adopt not because of our circumstances, but because of our choice to trust and hope in God's promises. When Moses led the people out of slavery in Egypt, they spent Forty years wandering in the desert wilderness. Through their wanderings, we're told, they sang songs of rejoicing, both for what the Lord had done in rescuing them from Egypt and also for what he would do when he brought them to the promised land. They are in the desert, and yet they are rejoicing, choosing to joy. And this rejoicing both looks back and looks forward. This rejoicing in the wilderness teaches us that biblical joy, Christian joy, is not determined by my current struggles or circumstances. Rather, my joy is centered in the unchanging, unwavering, un relenting love of God. It is because rejoicing is centered on God that Isaiah can write, I rejoice heartily in the Lord, in my God is the joy of my soul. He writes this even though Israel at the time was suffering oppression from foreign empires. It is because rejoicing is centered on God that Paul can say in 1 Thessalonians that he commands us to rejoice always and then quickly follows it up by telling us to pray without ceasing. So true, biblical joy is centered on God, or more specifically, the biblical choice to joy, the choice to rejoice, is centered on God and His promises. I'm reminded here of that old acronym for joy, J-O-Y, Jesus, others, you. If we get that order out of whack, well, then suddenly my capacity to rejoice lessens. If I put others, if I put myself before God in my priorities, if I prioritize my own wealth or my own status or my own esteem, over and above the call of God on my life, well, then I cannot rejoice in the biblical sense. If I put others ahead of God, even my own children, they may bring me joy for a time, but the choice to rejoice in the biblical sense will get harder and harder. If I make anything or anyone the center of my joy other than God, then I am at the mercy of circumstance. I am blown about by the winds of chance, and my boat is buffeted by the unpredictable currents of life. But if I have that order right, Jesus, others, you, well, then my joy and indeed my heart, is centered on something, someone, solid. 
Note, this doesn't mean that we stop being affected by our circumstances. Far from it. Nor does it mean that we suppress our sorrow or pretend it's not there. We don't just push it down. That's a good way to increase your blood pressure, but it's not a good way to live a Christian life. St. Paul often expressed sorrow about missing loved ones and losing friends, even sorrow about losing his own freedom. But in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 10, Paul describes himself as full of sorrow and yet rejoicing. My friends, this is where the radicalness of today, of Gaudete Sunday, becomes clear. Biblical rejoicing is the choice to rejoice even in sorrow. The choice to joy in the Lord and his promises. The choice to trust that our darkest days and most sorrowful moments will not have the last word. When life forces me to my knees, Will I be kneeling in surrender to my circumstances or kneeling in prayer? This is not God saying, just grin and bear it. It's not God saying, turn that frown upside down. No, this is a defiant joy. The defiant joy of Good Friday that looks forward to Easter Sunday. Today we are invited to make the radical and courageous choice to wait in the joy of Advent. The choice to rejoice in expectant hope. The choice to look forward to the joy of the babe in the manger. We rejoice today, even in the midst of our difficulties, whatever they are, because our joy is centered on Christ. Jesus, others, you. And Christ is ever faithful. Gaudete in Domino Semper, iterum dico gaudete. Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again, rejoice. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came, he came down, down from, from heaven, heaven, and by, by the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate of the, the Virgin Mary, Mary and became, became man. man. For our sake, sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He suffered death, death and was buried, and, and rose again, again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us present our petitions to the Lord our God, who knows the needs of our hearts. That the Spirit of the Lord may be upon the anointed priests and bishops of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That all of our men and women serving in the military return safely home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we keep in our prayers our seminarians, priests, and all who are discerning of vocation in the priesthood or religious life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of our parishioners who give to our Advent tree be blessed for their continuous generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may make straight our way as we wait with joyful hope this Advent. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the souls of the deceased may rejoice forever in God with Christ their Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Nicole Hurd, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please pray for all who have died from the coronavirus. Bless Lucille LaRose, Dolores Gambardella, Malgorzilla Balbatum, Mate Gress, Joseph D. Giovanna, Dennis Menke, and Deacon Maximo Monteira, who died recently. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our healthcare workers, all of our first responders and law enforcement officers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, for promotion of the common good and the protection of all life from conception to natural death, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have been away from the church, may they come back home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you always remember your promise of mercy and do great things for us. Hear the prayers we bring before you today through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Jordan's bank, the Baptist cry announces that the Lord is nigh. Awake and hearken, for he brings glad tidings of the King of Kings. Then cleanse me every life from sin. Make straight the way for God within, and let each heart prepare a halt where such a mighty guest may come. For you are our salvation, Lord, our refuge and our great reward. Without your grace we waste away like flowers that wither and decay. To heal the sick, stretch out your hand and bid the fallen sinner stand. Shine forth and let your light restore earth's own true loveliness once more. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without hand we are claimed. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not am worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say, say the word and my soul shall, shall be healed. Be healed. My friends, let us pray together the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. 
Amen. Say to the faint of heart, be strong and do not fear. Behold, our God will come and he will save us. O come, divine Messiah, the world in silence waits the day when hope shall sing its triumph and sadness flee away. Dear Savior, haste, come, come to earth, dispel the night and show your face and bid us hail the dawn of grace. O come, divine Messiah, the world in silence waits the day when hope shall sing its triumph and sadness flee away. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down and pray for God's blessing. May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten Son and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. Amen. So that, rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a great week, everybody. Come, thou long-expected Jesus, born to set thy people free. From our fears and sins release us, let us find our rest in thee. Israel's strength and consolation, hope of all the earth thou art, Dear desire of every nation, joy of every longing heart. Born thy people to deliver, born a child and yet a king, born to reign in us forever, now thy gracious kingdom reign. By thine own and eternal spirit, rule in all our hearts alone. By thine all sufficient merit, raise us to thy glorious throne.